Hey Lisk community, welcome to the Lisk vlog number two. We are very excited to showcase what's been going on at HQ this month. This amazing vlog will consist of, to begin with, a marketing update, development update, as well as a company-wide update. So we hope that you all enjoy. Since taking over Lisk Global Communications in November, I've divided our strategy into three objectives. First was to grow brand awareness by actively communicating developments that take place every day in Zug and Berlin. Second was to make sure that our messaging reaches key stakeholders and regions. And third, to create media influencer opportunities for all members of LISC. To achieve this, LISC has had the pleasure of working with one of the best agencies in blockchain, Waxman. Nearly six months in, I'm happy to report that LISC's global communication strategy has been a success. We're securing up to 100 media mentions and a dozen on media placements per month. We've been featuring global tech media outlets such as TechCrunch, Blockchain Press, the likes of Coindesk, industry-specific JavaScript Center, and influencers such as Ivan on Tech. Welcome to this uh, exclusive interview with Max Kordek from Lisk. Hey, everyone at home. Hi, Ivan. In the last few months, our co-founder Max appeared in the highest tier of media placements. Our leads, Thomas and Will, were featured in the upper echelon of press opportunities. In tech, Gina talked to JavaScript Press and our full stack Shusetsu to media from his native Japan. In marketing, we had Jacob talked on podcasts, Lindsay to press in Hong Kong, and Matt to YouTube influencers. While motion designer Julian had his commentary on list branding published in a prominent blockchain publication. We look forward to growing the list brand even further and getting even more people involved in our movement. We currently have four ongoing series on the list blog. We launched the conversation series a little while back the other three series are completely new. Blockchain Buzz highlights and investigates different industries that are making real moves towards the adoption of blockchain technology. The first article of the series went out in March and explores blockchain in healthcare. The Future in Focus series spotlights promising blockchain projects around the world with up close and personal interviews. The first of that series also went out in March and featured Berlin-based data analysis platform Madonna. And finally, the LISC Community Member Spotlight Series aims to shed more light onto our supportive and dedicated community members around the world. The first of the Community Member Spotlight Series went out this month and features Alexi, also known as Alipop. As a content strategist here at LISC, I feel all of these new initiatives are incredibly important and valuable to help solidify LISC as a thought leader and educator in blockchain. We believe our internal news-related blog posts are vital, but we also believe educational blog posts will ultimately help shape our position in the industry. Hello, List community. I've just landed in San Antonio now, getting ready for our meetup later on tonight, and to begin the Spring North America tour here. I'm leaving San Antonio to conduct the conference meet up in Ottawa, Canada. Uh, the event and conference has been going extremely well. So right now I'm actually leaving Ottawa. Now I'm heading back to the States to finish off the Spring North America tour by going to Seattle. Hey guys, uh, we're at Heathrow Airport at the moment, just on our way back from uh, from London. Um, we had a really successful meetup last night. We had around 150 to 200 people at WeWork Morgate. I uh, wanted to do a quick shout out to the, the guys from WeWork. It was really cool to set this up with you and uh, the collaboration between us is, is going to continue from here. Um, also wanted to say thanks so much to SVK Crypto. You guys were amazing and thanks for all your help and assistance with the event as well. Yeah, it was a blast. That's the evening. Uh, we flew down with four marketeers, uh, of course, Matt, myself, Jacob and Michael. And I think we can definitely conclude with the team that this is a market we definitely want to go visit way more often, um, together with the help of, of WeWork, but many, many meetups and big events here in the UK. And um, yeah, see you guys next time. Hey guys, we are happy to announce 
a new version of Explorer, the 1.6.0. This release brings the new UI theme that matches the list.io style that was first introduced at the rebranding event. There are also several stability patches included and most importantly, improved UX for mobile devices. Over the next few weeks, we'll be focusing on polishing up the new Explorer. Hi everyone, my name is Diego. I'm a backend developer from Likecure. I'm here to talk about 0913. I'm sure all of you are wondering why 0913 right now that we are in the middle of heavy testing for BetaNet. There are several reasons, but the first one is the network is alive. And in every software, there is one step that is maintaining the network. This is something really important and it's not clever to forget it. The second point is why we went privately. Security reasons is the answer. We found out two bugs that were exploitable. The first bug, it was related to offline multi-sig transaction. And the second bug is related again to multi-sig. But this time it's about the requested public key. This fixes are already in place and most of the network is already upgraded and these changes as well are ported to 100. You can go to GitHub and check it out, all the information that I wrote about those two bugs. Hello, my name is Usman Khan and I work at uh, Lightcurve as a core developer. And in the past month I've been working on this core in terms of testing and improving the code base. Uh, we have released BetaNet uh, this month as well. There are a lot of things that you can do with the BetaNet, like communicating with the new API, which is new and improved version of it, of the previous one. You can set up your own uh, node to see how our peer-to-peer -peer layers, a new uh, WebSocket-related peer-to-peer layers communicating. You can also uh, use Lisk Commander, Lisk Elements, and Lisk Explorer with the new BetaNet. Uh, Lisk Core. Hi, I'm Will. I'm a full stack developer here at Lightcurve and I'm the project lead for Lisk Commander. Big thing for April with Lisk Commander was the beta release of version 1.0. We've been working pretty closely with Core to align the 1.0 release of Core with the 1.0 release of Lisk Commander. So there's a bunch of smaller improvements behind the scenes with 1.0, a few extra commands, and the big one is broadcasting transactions. So with Version 0, you've been able to create transactions from the command line. With 1.0, you can finally send them to the list network and have them included in a block on the blockchain. So if any developers among you want to try it out, you can go to our GitHub page, download it from there. And if you're using BetaNet nodes, you can already get used to those new commands. Uh, we would like to say thank you to our community on giving feedback on this chat, GitHub, and Gitter. Uh, please continue on doing that. With the great development that's being made here, we'd like to give an amazing shout out to our community members who are contributing to the development aspect of LISC. And to begin, I'd like to shout out CC001 for the great feedback that he's given us regarding the beta net testing that's ongoing currently. We'd also like to shout out Slamper for the amazing tools he's been creating, um, which include LISC statistics page. You can see the link down for this below. And also as well, Carbonara for the LISC Qt assistance which is a tool for our delegates who are using the network and receiving notifications and also being able to manage their nodes through the use of Telegram away from home. Thank you all for actually helping contribute to the development of Bliss. Hey, my name is Gina. I'm a front-end developer at Lightcurve. And today I just want to give you some updates on what we've been working on the last month. We added some major features in our latest releases which include the lock ID feature, which enables you to lock your account whenever you want. We also have the onboarding, which guides you through the hub. We also have the account initialization and also added the second passphrase registration and the delegate registration as well. You can stay up to date with our releases and changes um, whenever you like by just going to our blog and read about our latest releases. One of my favorite tasks as HR generalist is hosting feedback sessions with small groups of employees at a time. We give everyone a platform to express how they are perceiving their working environment and how they are doing on a personal level. These feedback sessions are also a very important step for crafting up our culture strategy. It's been really great having these personal talks as it's given me better insight into the team dynamics. Hi, I'm Abel from Barcelona and I just joined the DevOps team here at Lisk Lightcurve. 
Hi, my name is Lucas, I'm from Brazil and I'm very excited to be part of Lace Glide Curve as a full stack developer. I'm Gabby, I come from Brazil. I just joined Lisk Light Curve as HR generalist and I'm really happy to be here and to work with these people. They are really motivated and I hope to add a lot. At Lightcurve, we have more than 20 different nationalities present in our office. Our latest team members come from Brazil and Spain. Embracing multicultural environment helps employees feel appreciated for who they are and the unique skills they offer. Many of those skills might have nothing to do with cultural backgrounds, but the fact that diversity is embraced at light curve lets employees know they are valued. Valued employees tend to be happier, and happier employees tend to be more productive. Lightcurve will be attending several events in May, such as the Design Festival OFF in Barcelona, and we are developers in Vienna. We are scaling up twice in size this year alone and have many exciting open positions. Our open positions can be found at lisk.io slash careers. Aside from the development shoutouts that I've given today, I'd also like to include great community members, which to start off will be John Muck, which is our brand new Reddit moderator, Paul and Yemen, our Liz Seattle organizers who have been doing an amazing job growing the community there in Seattle. We have several conferences coming up around the world this month, including Consensus in New York. If you want to find out where we're going to be, check out our events page. Down below in the description box, we'd also include all the links we spoke of today, so check that out. Also, make sure you subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you in the next vlog. Take care.